However, Lifestealer is a bit of a tombstone killer already. Let him try. <laughs> Let him try, okay. Yep. Well, Shadow Fiend, uh, it's no one's Shadow Fiend. That's nice. Okay. Getting up in his face, MSS was able to hit the purification, so, like, health wise, they're still pretty close, but CS wise, Ramses is pulling slightly ahead, even though the creep wave is still in his favor. Mm -hmm. And Omni um, hasn't gone for oh, the so, At first yeah. blood. They yeah. get him underneath the tower. There was just. I mean, the sinking in this lane is. There's no AoE stun that you're going to be triggering apart from, like, you've got the gust to break him out of the channel. Uh, yeah, Telekinesis drop on top of him, but it's all a little bit slow. It's more so that the supports have to actually invest some boards. <laughs> MSS. This is very optimistic. He's chasing down, looking for Lil. Optimistic actually pays off. Got close enough for the purification. Or actually, he got two, yeah, two points into the gen. I like that. Ramsey's struggling a little bit too. Oh, he's trying to get the open wounds. The problem is he's got no more heal. Lil will arrive. So now the tether is up. MSS doesn't have anything else to fight with. All he's got is his, uh, is his infused raindrops, but that won't save him from this. Ramsey's just beats him down with the claws. So he gets a little bit of revenge for the death of his support. And Rose has stolen level 1 Sandstorm, another benefit of playing Problem versus... is he just left Envy by himself in the mid lane. Envy starting his TP out. No one was winding up the ult. He's just got enough damage. MSS's TP couldn't arrive in time. And now he's kind of staring down the barrel of a very blood-raged up SF. Themselves. Virtus Pro coming in to fight. Yeah, they have the Sand King Blink Dagger. Let's watch his positioning. Oh, there's going to be our first big 5-on-5 five five fight. If VP can find a good positioning, NP are being very defensive about this. Only leaving AUI in the front lines. They put down the Observer Wars, Sentries of Planets, so they can see it. The Epicenter channeling up from Pasha, blinks in with a forest Strike, looking for the kill to MSS, but it's not going to be enough. Now they turn on the GA, and Solo gets evaporated. And now maybe no one can turn this fight around. Bring out the big Requiem, but it's just too much NP. They don't have the damage, they don't actually have the positioning either. So Droga is stunned up high, while you're losing the Rubik in the mid to no one getting a triple kill. NP lose four. It looked like they were going to originally survive, and then, nope. But we can see that maneuver. I think he's just outside the Observer Ward range. They're, they place one right on AUI, but yeah, he astrals the Sand King, and all the spells come out from the Omni Knight. But then he gets Requiem, then easily Shadow Race down. And now they're trying to go for a Roche, but SVG gets bashed up. SF Illusions scouting them out. And yeah, they have, is... They're trying to do the Tombstone. Pro to move up through the river. The scan, it just wore up before Lil reached it. So they do not know, but the the smoke, it's going to break in just a second, but they're out of range of the Observer and Sentry. So they tether forward, AUI massively separated from the rest of the pack. He's already broken down. He'll Hurricane Pike himself down, but into the waiting arms of Ramsey's the Fire Strike is there, and they kill off the Drow Ranger. No one winds up the ult. He doesn't actually hit on anybody apart from his own teammates, but there's still two heroes down for MP. They're trying to bail out of here with at least casualties as possible, but it's still going to be three heroes lost for MP. 12-2 on the board, and Virtus Pro, they are in... They have, they've got perfect control of this game. That They had right there... They had a vision of one hero from the creep wave, and he just kind of walked in and like, if they're all four, I can just armlet. it. If I get gusted, I'll just oh, and use it off. And heroes just keep perishing around the map for MP. This is... That, going that to be pick brutal. is actually too easy. With the damage onto the mid tower already, there's no eternal envy for 42 seconds. Uh, potentially just to go for some picks and open up the map for them a little bit more. But in the straight 5 on 5 it's not really going to feel very useful. Speaking of pick, there's the Blink Faro Strike. They're going to Hurricane Pike him up. The heals were enough from Savage as well as MSS. Now they try and turn the fight. Lil is pretty low. But you have to remember, no one is pretty big, and he has that fresh BKB on him. So if Eternal Envy wants to fight this one, no one will to be happy to turn it back to Ramsey's. He's the one on the front lines. The Blade charge over on the OD. They push They push him up. Pasha's Barra Strike still connected. Another defensive imprisonment. They're kiting around Virtus Pro nicely. Requiem, very ineffective against MP. Well, they're looking for another target. The Blink, the Yule Scepter is up. Rose, oh, he went to Sandstorm. They missed the target. The Gem of True Side of MP now lost. It was sitting on the Rubik. There was no one that got the kill, but now they get a multicast over on Eternal Envy. This could be him down. No buyback, a double kill for the SF, and a double bar strike from Pasha. Right on the money. Triple kill for no one. He'll look to make it something a little bit more. Will it be the Rampage? It's an ultra kill at the moment. Savage is the last one of life. Push him in, and there it is. A Virtus Pro Rampage will force the GG call out of MP. And that is one very... Dominant game from Virtus Pro with a double rampage just to add some icing onto the cake at the end.
Unless anyway. unless the span is behind and Shadow Fiend is ahead. Well, so then you gotta really trust how your lane is gonna. It's gotta be temporary assassin, as you mentioned. It's just like for the matchup wise, but that's all. There's a lot of other heroes that can do that. They can offer you a way better toolkit. Let's say like uh, Dazzle, I would say, would be one of uh, one of the heroes that I would yep. say fulfills a. But, but they also role. at the first phase. Now top lane, the initiation happens, and it goes a Shadow Demon in the middle of all this. Savage does actually have that wonderful spirit out. A lot of damage into Ramsey at the same time. The SD he does eventually fall. He was the one that started everything on. There's a one-for-one -one trade off the Luna for the support SD, but first blood did go to the Ogre. <laughs> we don't even need a part of watching this. <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let's let's go down to the bot lane instead and watch like MSS versus Pasha. Oh, they have a stomp onto Luna. Right, and with the stomp stomp ball, yeah, that's it. Mega dead. I actually like this catcher early on too. Coming out from the SD and solo denied themselves up. So right now the neutrals are on the same score as MP. It is important though for MP. Oh, Curious Knight oh, Middle going in. <laughs> oh, it's been three minutes. Is Envy? Is Envy in a nutshell? And is he denying himself up to? That is usually not the choice for people to deny because you give them a little bit of gold. That he, would take uh, them like he took the bottle off, right? Yeah, he did. Off the chicken. Top lane, initiation, gonna go on AUI, they drag him back, but the stomp here again from Savage creates more space. They all look very tired and asleep, but Luna, the catcher, is on him, combining it with the Shadow Poison. Rames make makes a break for the tree line, and he'll actually go down. Now it's Solo trying to help out Eternal Envy's rotated up here too. So Virtus Pro, they're outnumbered. Lil needs to help out somehow with the Fade Bolt. It's just not doing enough work. They do kill this Ven, thanks to Lil, but now Envy is on the hunt. It's a double kill for the SD, but it's Lil trapped in the tree line. Line. His TP's coming off cooldown now. There's no mana for a disruption, but he's not going to attempt the TP. Does as much damage as possible and then accepts his fate. Expecting the camp to be blocked. So they actually just soak up so much uh, so much money through the sentry wards. And they don't get the D ward. Now hook shot over. Nice catch. Catching solo out. Trying to go through that little bit of a choke point, but clockwork. Right in the money, Eternal Envy in the neighborhood as well. Sand King or the TP even, which gave MP the heads up to dodge that fight. And they, that, that was, that was definitely going to be go sour for them. At, oh, but they play, the they King. borrow, they're going to go on Eternal Envy. Now oh, thinking about a defensive disruption, but instead it's going to be the purge over on the SK. They take away all of his mana. The Sven's already down, AUI being exploded by the TA. They actually managed to avoid the hook shot. And now with the Barra Strike and the Eclipse sitting around, they're all so low, Bonus Pro. All of them so down. Pasha blinks away. He'll dodge the last attack from the tower. The Spirit's looking for him, but they set up Savage. Pasha's still waiting. Randy doesn't know if he wants to come back. The Spirit's making a re-entry back into Savage. Just to give him the movement speed to get away, and Solo gets cock burned again. MSS in close, but Solo, now he Solo, 150 on him. They're getting away, Virtus Pro. They are the walking dead at the moment. But the dead are crushing NP. They can't they can't see anyone. They have to drop a flare, drop a spirit, and that is more than enough time for VP to escape unless oh, this Solo is the walks one. right into them. Yep, that was not for the sir at all, but get the stun sound. AUI is even gonna commit God Strength. They want this kill quickly. Solo is still not dead yet. He's walking away, they need more damage. The hook shot, it hits the spirit! Clockwork can't even get close enough, so it's a double kill for Lil. Clock still hasn't managed to catch up to Solo, and now he's isolated. The TPing back to the tier two tower. The Cogs will drop down, but MSS is on the run. He's lost the rest of his entire team. But the first stun, the follow-up stun, Lil's got his control of cooldown in one second time. And there it is. He gives a double kill to no one. In fact, he ended up taking what? So Rubik got two, TA got two, and MP got scored. And you can see how far he is behind no one. The net worth, he's almost three times as rich. Oh, no one. Nice hook shot. MSS, they needed this with oh. the dust as well. No one fights his way out of the cogs. They need to finish the job. However, they have enough damage. The Templar Assassin will drop. That's big such a great kill. kill. That's the one kill of Radiant Eternal Envy, and it's the big one. Is is just too poor. Like, every time go in a team fight, you just have to be deathly oh, afraid of TA. Just Pasha found him, too. You. Blink is off cooldown at the moment. Starts the epicenter, but Lil holds Queen of Pain in position. He buys as much of the of the second Oblivion staff as possible, but it's still a dead envy. The Spirit Stomp again being available. This will slow down the attack, but it's definitely not going to stop it. I need to bring every... Okay, everyone is back. 
watching AUI with that blink echo saber of his. They need to kill Luna, but Luna has a hurricane pike, so now yeah. anyone that gets force tapped can easily be saved by either the Luna or Pasha. And the spirit stop also missed on no one. They they can't even catch him. This okay. They jump him. You storm bolt to start over on the Templar assassin. Just blinks in. Goes on AUI. Eternal envy. He's not certain he wants this one. He got the shadow strike over on the Templar assassin. So at least those are not that many some charges. But Ned Master. Oh MSS. He gets disintegrated. The defense of disruption too. Is it going to be enough? They actually get away. Pasha Envy's jumping up for the kill. Then the Yule stepped her up with the Eclipse. Ramsey kills up a Eternal Envy again. Pasha on a beast to fly. Retreats out. The oh Clockwork my. bought back, but he also won't find his opening. And VP take the mid ranks, force buybacks, get kills, and lose nothing of value. I don't think on they the can Rubik. kill Lil. I don't think they can kill anyone with it. Two court staff. They have the butterfly. They on the have to try. Assassin. At least, at least they get like a, a Luna to fight for their cause. That's one small. This upside. is a fight you know you're gonna lose if you hook shot in. Like, yeah. You know you're probably gonna get team wise unless. But he's gonna uh, be the space creation, right? That's no, it. no, no, no. The oh, AUI. He goes in for the SD disruption. It went the same time as Ven initiated. Solo is at least isolated here, but with the four staff and Barra striking from Pasha. He caught Savage. He caught Rose and MP. A completely caught Pasha will come in. But MP said this. Still wasn't even used, but no one does so much damage. The butterfly, AUI can't even hit him right now. No one is untouchable. And you got MSS trapped on the front lines. Bybex are coming in from MP, but this feels like desperation. MP blinks forward. No one waits, and then two hits down the SD. Moves on to MP. It's a rampage, and it really is the game. AUI is stranded between everything. The only upside is the fact that it's only a Lunar and a TA. The downside is it's the Lunar and the TA. They're still alive for further throw. So AUI tries to be a man, but it's just not manly enough. Too many rampages, and MP will lose their first game to Virtus Pro 2-0 in an uh, insanely convincing fashion so we just from got Virtus Pro. Five rampages by the same person in two games.